My name is Brian Bocking. I'm the head of the Study of Religions Department at UCC. And uh, what we're doing today is we're holding a conference, which is one in a, a series of conferences that we've been holding over the past few years. And this particular one is called Representing Sikhism. And it's about a scholar called Max Arthur McAuliffe. And I suppose the question is, what's the relationship between those two um, entities, uh, Sikhism and Max Arthur McAuliffe? Max Arthur McAuliffe was an Irishman. Um, not many people know this. What they do know is that he was a famous scholar of the Sikh religion. Um, most people think he was English. And uh, a few years ago, um, Professor Tyg Foley, who's the former professor of English, uh, Professor Emeritus of English at uh, NUIG, um, discovered Macauliffe when he was writing a history of the university. And uh, he didn't know much about Macauliffe, but when he looked for him, looked up the records, he discovered he was a very famous name, particularly in the Punjab. Um, and perhaps I could say a few words about Macauliffe and then uh, explain a bit more about uh, Sikhism. Um, Macauliffe was born in Limerick. He went to um, University Queen's College Galway, which is now NUIG. Uh, he was born in 1838, so seven years before this university was founded. And he studied modern languages. He obviously was very um, gifted. And he was posted uh, to the British Civil Service in India. And uh, he was in Amritsar, and he became a judge. Um, but it's not really the fact that he became a judge which is so important. It's, it's um, the fact that he sort of stopped being a judge, or pretty much gave up being a judge, to devote his life to the study of uh, the Sikh religion. So uh, Macauliffe basically decided that he would do a translation of the Sikh holy book. And uh, this he did, and he studied, he, he um, put out a number of articles and... and um, but the culmination of his life's work was a six-volume work called The Religion of the Six. And this was published in Oxford in 1909, by which time Macauliffe had um, gone to London to live and uh, to, to, to see his book through the press. And then he died in 1913. And today, the 15th of March, is the 100th anniversary to the day of his death. So this is why we're holding the conference on this particular day. Now, the conference is called Representing Sikhism, and this is what McAuliffe did. He, in English, represented Sikhism to the wider world. And English, of course, in those days, had become the lingua franca of the empire, the British Empire, and it was also, of course, the, the lingua franca of much scholarship in the West. So McAuliffe really served uh, a very important purpose in bringing the Sikh scriptures, you know, with a sympathetic translation and, um, and, and a very scholarly translation to the Western world. And he could really be seen as the founder of modern Sikh studies. And he is revered, and this is quite unusual amongst Western scholars of Sikhism, he's revered both by the Sikhs worldwide and by academics who study Sikhism, you know, because as we know, you know, academics and religious people don't always agree on how to interpret a religious tradition. You know, people have different approaches. So, um, Macauliffe uh, served this very important purpose, and he was um, he was personally, you know, drawn to Sikhism. And there is at least one photograph of him in the distinctive Sikh turban. And uh, I suppose the the key thing about his approach was that he consulted the local scholars, the local Sikh scholars. Um, and uh, in fact, on the frontispiece of his book, there's a picture of him with four of these Sikh scholars. So he saw himself really as part of a kind of collaborative effort. And you know, you have to remember, this is, this is back in the late 19th century, when Orientalists, you know, typically, um, it's not, not universally, but typically, you know, they would say, listen, you know, we, we understand this, you know, we, we, we don't sort of take our lead from the local scholars. But Macauliffe did, and he was, um, he's, he's respected for that, and, and he's ahead of his time. One of, the, one of the purposes or the context of this conference is that Sikh studies doesn't really exist in Ireland. There's, there's almost nothing so far in our library. Um, we always introduce Sikhism in our Religions and Global Diversity course. I'm actually teaching Sikhism. I've been teaching Sikhism earlier this week. Um, but I'm not an expert in Sikhism. And Ireland, um, 
and I think not least in honour of McAuliffe, you know, could do with someone who's a specialist in Sikh studies. So what we're trying to do, and this conference is part of it, is to generate some interest in the possibility of having Sikh studies uh, develop at UCC. Um, and uh, library collection is part of that. And we have already had uh, some generous donation of um, Sikh books from members of the Sikh community. And that, I think, will continue. Um, but we are very much at the beginning. And the key to all this is to establish, I hope, a post in Sikh studies. Because when you have someone who really knows about the Sikh traditions, who you know, has the languages, um, has the um, academic credentials, and so forth, and there are um, now, you know, quite a number of uh, chairs and lectureships in Sikh studies around the world. But I don't think there's one in Europe. And, uh, you know, what better place than Ireland, given, <laughs> given that McAuliffe, you know, is from Ireland.